guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here look at this background and let me know how long you've been here because if you remember it you know where I am I'm actually moving so this is gonna be our new setup for a little bit so let me know how you guys feel about it the pompas might not stay there by the way anyway I'm so excited I'm finally filming my monthly favorites for the past few weeks of August so excited for fall but I have a few favorites I have some furniture I have some TikTok DIYs to share with you some jewelry and clothes just random stuff so I can't wait to get into it follow me on Instagram if you haven't already I've been posting quite a bit on there I'll link my top down below and um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already anyway let's go ahead and jump right into it so today's video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa jewelry they have the cutest jewelry pieces ever I'm wearing some today and I'll show you guys a close-up in a second they're actually a sustainable jewelry company and their pieces are starting from $39 and up but they have no luxury markups they truly have something for everyone and I just love like from now on investing in jewelry pieces rather than getting like super cheap ones that are gonna tarnish and look bad after a few wears their stuff actually is made to last which is so important and I'm just obsessed with everything I got just look at those rings how cute are they I'm gonna show you the close-ups right now so the first thing I got is this adorable layered necklace set I love how it has a coin with a little evil eye and these actually come as a set but they are detached from each other so you can totally wear them separately which is getting two necklaces for one they are so dainty super well made and i just love 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 how they look these are 99 dollars, and like i said they come as a set and then i got two rings y'all know i love my gold rings this one is 59 dollars, and i love how chunky it looks i think it's such a nice statement gold ring but it feels really nice and light not super heavy and it's super easy just to wear throughout the day I would totally wear this with one of those tanks that I'm about to show you. It's just such a look. I love it so much. It's like nothing I have, but I've been loving wearing it. And then this one is actually $49. And I love that it's adjustable because I can wear it literally on any finger. And it's such a fun and different piece. I don't own any like gold rings that have white detailing. And I just love how it looks so much. So if you also want to invest in pieces that are going to last you a while, that are made in a sustainable way, definitely check out Ana Luisa. I'll leave my discount code right here and down below and a link to the pieces I purchased. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I'm truly obsessed with everything I got and I hope you guys check them out too. You wouldn't be able to tell by what I'm wearing. Literally the brightest, most obnoxious top ever but I've been really into wearing neutrals like I said the irony is real anyway the tangent was that I've been really into these neutral tank tops and I have so many so this one is my most recent purchase this one's from Shein and it's by a brand in French that I will not attempt to say got it in a medium it was like $14 super nice and well made such a nice basic to dress up or down that's mostly what I do with all of these I dress them up or down they're so comfy this one I showed in a try on haul recently it's by Princess Polly I just love how fun like sporty it is and once again you can totally dress it up I love wearing this one with black denim shorts it looks so good with that and sneakers this one I also showed in a haul it's my pretty little thing this one's a different material it's almost like a spandexy material but once again super cute very affordable and I love the fit of that one. This one is a little different, but it's still kind of that neutral tank vibe. Um, this one's more dressy. I wouldn't ever wear this casually. But with black jeans and heels, it's such a look. I love it. This one's from Amazon. And then the last one is by Shein. And I'm actually going to return it slash exchange it for a medium. This one's more cropped. And since the armpit hole goes so far down... I got a large and it looks a little off on me so I'm gonna go ahead and exchange it for a medium but this was six dollars and it feels 
super super high quality which is crazy so that's what i'm gonna do but if you're looking for those these are some great options clearly i'm obsessed and i just love the look of it with gold jewelry from anna luisa a look don't mind the dogs they will be walking in and out but anyway i had to show you this patio set that i got for my parents off of overstock.com they really needed something for their pool because they only had these chairs and then the pool right here so i bought this for them it was 365 with tax and everything it ended up being 36 or 395 um which i think it's worth it. it it's not the best quality ever um it did come like a little bit scratched up but i reached out to the overstock customer service i'll let you know if i ever hear back um i assemble it all myself it was super easy it is so comfy and honestly all for four pieces um less than 400 dollars. i think it's a pretty good deal so like i said i assemble everything it was super easy these are super comfortable and waterproof i just think it's a steal and super cute there we go my dogs but anyway that's definitely a favorite right now so of course we're still in the middle of a pandemic so i've been purchasing a few different masks the first one is definitely my favorite it is the cutest little tie-dye mask this was actually made by a fellow youtuber she is the cutest and started a customizable tie-dye mask business you can order through her instagram they're super affordable super comfy and super cute look at that i obviously chose pink but she has a ton of different colors she is actually a black owned small business so definitely go support i love her so much i'll link her youtube channel her instagram and her business instagram down below it's such a well-made little mask and i just love how you can customize with your own tie-dye colors and then these masks i actually purchased a long time ago they're from shein y'all know i've been trying to like wean off shein but i promise i purchased these a while ago they just shipped from china they, they come in a three pack each um so i give the other two to my mom these are really nice because they're actually adjustable right here and then these are just like okay i'm not obsessed with them i just like to have options that way i don't have to be washing my mask every single day i can just dump them in the laundry and have options so out of all of them though this one is definitely my favorite. Please go check her out. She is just so cute and they're super high quality. So it is no secret that I'm truly obsessed with TikTok. So I decided to follow this little DIY. You basically go to Goodwill or any thrift store. You buy some ugly, unique shape bases bases i cannot say the v correctly and you mix acrylic paint with baking soda and you have diy pottery so i tried it out this was my first attempt so please don't judge i did this really fun almost looks like an ice cream cone um pink one i'll leave the paints that i used down below but i got those at walmart how cool though the texture is so funky it definitely feels very very cool i can't wait to put like those pompas on it or something then i did a gray one because my new living room is pretty gray so i thought this was perfect i mean i definitely messed it up a little bit but this used to be like brown so the fact that it looks like this for like a dollar it's crazy and then the next one is where the pompas are let me see if i can fetch those out by the way if anyone has any tips on how to dry out these pompas we cut them yesterday and they're like pretty fresh they were like wild pompas in my parents neighborhood so let me know how i can do that but anyway here's the other one this one might be my favorite not really the shape but the color so next time i go thrift shopping i'm definitely buying more and then doing a bunch more and showing you guys how I do it maybe in a tutorial since it was my first time I wasn't really sure how they were going to turn out but I love these definitely try it out it's so easy and such a fun activity with like kids or girls night or something like that I think it's super fun and I love the look this one was like 50 cents next thing is my current foundation that i've been loving i love that this foundation is only five dollars i actually used to wear one just like this it was just a mad version in college all the time it's so so good so now i'm wearing the dewy and smooth version i get mine at target but you can get it at any drugstore this is the dewy and smooth maybelline fit me foundation i have the color 125 nude beige fits me pretty well when i'm tan but like i said let's ignore my neck it looks a little rough 
Um, and it has SPF 18, which is good, I guess. Um, why I love it is because it looks pretty nice and natural, not too cakey. It's still pretty full coverage. But also when it fades, like with the Houston heat, it doesn't look patchy or gross. It actually just fades pretty evenly. So if you're looking for a nice dewy foundation, this one's great. If your skin is oily, I don't know how well this one will work. But like I said, they have a matte and poreless that works just as well. Um, this one is for normal to dry skin. Look who's here being annoying because I'm about to talk to you all about food. I totally bought two bags of this pasta to show you one of them in today's video, but it was so good. We ended up eating it all. So it is this pasta by Trader Joe's. Cacio Pepe is my all-time favorite pasta sauce, I guess, or type of pasta. It is so good and so simple to make, but I can never get it right. So Trader Joe's is selling these frozen bags for $3.49 or something crazy, and they taste just like restaurant pasta. It's so, so crazy, so creamy, so flavorful. My dad had never tried Cacio Pepe before, and he was hooked they're also selling raviolis with the filling but if you're gonna get one or the other i highly recommend the frozen one it's so so good um i would go to trader joe's every single day to buy more but going to trader joe's in houston right now is truly a mission last time i was there i was there for two hours and i couldn't even find my pasta so if you are ever at trader joe's grab a bag or two because they are totally totally worth it so guys that's everything for today's video if you enjoyed my my favorites videos please give them a thumbs up also make sure to check out Anna Luisa down below and use my discount code philosophy 10 if you shop anything on their website I truly love everything I got I've been wearing it so much lately and it just looks so good and high-end and I love some gold dainty jewelry y'all know that so I'm so excited to get some even more stuff from them so definitely check them out down below Bolt, do you want to say bye to everyone look how cute he looks I'm just I'm just obsessed with them. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.